movieweb.com. So I can just first talk, like you said, like you like, kind of always want to be a cartoonist. <laughs> like, uh -huh. uh, you talk about like uh, just kind of where you kind of came up with the story and like how this kind of kind of come fulfill that, that vision? <laughs> well, it, I, I did, I, when I was a kid, I always loved like Calvin and Hobbes and Foxtrot and, mm -hmm. and comic strips like this. And uh, and I wanted to do a family comedy that was sort of, in a way, sort of uh, had a structure kind of like a comic strip where you weren't sure what was going to happen next. And um, I came up with a story, I mean, a, lo a lot of the characters are kind of based on people in my own family. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister is a wedding florist and I actually lived in her basement for a while. And so I got a lot of ideas from that situation. But then when I met Hiroshi, it sort of came together for me, um, just because his particular brand of humor was just so great that I thought, this guy ought to be the lead role in, in a movie, and, and I want to make that movie. So. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> You just talk about like uh, where you kind of had to go to play this character. It's kind of like so people call him like the characters, other characters in the film call him kind of slow or something like that. But it just seems like he's kind of having trouble acclimating to America. So can you just talk about like where, like what kind of place you went to to portray, portray this character? Oh, what kind of place? Like like what kind of like uh, mentality you had to get into? Then? Oh, hmm. Uh, yeah, he's influenced by uh, kids and uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, and he doesn't have uh, confidence about himself, but he has you know, confidence about dinosaurs. So I, I read a lot of dinosaur books, and, and also uh, I used when I was kids, uh, I used the memory when I was kids because they, do, they act uh, very spontaneously without thinking enough. So I remember those kind of experience and I magnified it. Nice. Yeah, and also the situation is really funny. So I really focus on situations. Yeah. And like, like you, you worked with him on your on your previous film. So like, were you, were you kind of working on this script while you were making that? And like, can you kind of talk about like the the process of writing and tailor, tailoring this character for him? Yeah, I actually wrote this script before I made my first film, Big Dreams, Little Tokyo. And then, but it was it was quite different than it was now, and it wasn't. Um, it, it was just sort of a, a, a basic story. And uh, I, I worked with him on Big Dreams Little Tokyo on just one scene that he totally stole. I was actually the actor opposite him, and he totally stole the scene out from under me. And um, so in, in tailoring it for him, some things, uh, I mean, I, I, the character became a, a Japanese guy who just recently moved to the US. And uh, mm -hmm. there, there were a lot of, um, Hiroshi is really great at playing as, he has a, like he's very good at, like he calls it, the childlike spontaneity. He's really good at portraying that, so the character kind of moved in a little bit more of that direction. And, uh, and it also became a little bit less dark, because he's just such a, a sunny guy. <laughs> So like, uh, can you just talk about like the, the production in general? And like, uh, like, was it like what was like the kind of the budget like for this? And like, uh, were you guys constrained by that at all? Or yeah, it was, well, there, there's never enough money or enough time, I guess. I mean, this was a, a pretty low budget project. It was you know well under a million dollars, but um, but everybody worked really hard to stretch it as far as they could go. I mean, uh, it's just kind of the way it goes. You know, these, these days there's not a whole lot of money to make movies anymore. But um, but uh, we. We were able to do a lot of pretty ambitious things, despite not. Uh, part of part of the thing that helped was actually shooting outside of LA. We shot in Salt Lake City, which is a really cheap place to film, <laughs> and uh, that right there probably saved us. Yeah. So, like, can you just talk about working with uh, your fellow castmates, like James and like everyone else in this film? Like, was it like to to work with these guys? Oh, yeah, I had you know really ex good experience with working you know other as an actors, and and they are really talented. And Jamie is really nice, and they are uh, very friendly. Yeah, and I had a really good experience working with them. So was it was it kind of like a? I mean, what was like the kind of the uh, demeanor on the set like? Was it, were you guys just cracking each other up the whole time, or like was it kind of hard to get takes in? Like, what, like any, anything like that? Uh, no, <laughs> it's not so difficult. <laughs> yeah, I just you know really enjoyed it, and also the script was you know really funny. And I, I really enjoy working with the uh, yeah, script and other cast members. I don't think Hiroshi really. Uh, it didn't seem like he was playing it like a comedy on set. Mm -hmm. It almost seemed like he was playing it like a. He was. I mean, he was really feeling it every, the whole oh, yeah. way through. And so, um, I, I think that's part. Of the, at the premiere of the film in San Francisco, uh, Hiroshi kept saying, "Why is everybody laughing?" You know, he, he, 
because I think that the character, you know, he was really going through oh, what the character's going through. <laughs> No, it makes sense. Like, it comes across that way on the screen. Yeah, the situation was really, you know, difficult for the character. And sometimes I took it personally, and I became depressed. Yeah. yeah like, uh, <laughs> first shooting day, uh, the first shooting day, you know, I got really, you know, en uh, excited to do the leading, par leading part in the film, because this is my first time. And I, re I got really excited. I, I went to Utah. And the first shooting day, we shot the Jimmy Dumped. <laughs> Jimmy getting dumped, and also I was wearing gorilla costume. It's a really silly one, so you know I took really personally, and I wanted to go back to Los Angeles, <laughs> even though I want to go back to, to Japan to see my family. Yeah. To his credit, I had no idea. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, like, uh, could you just look forward to like the like the DVD will be a lot of like. Uh, did, did you guys shoot a lot of like, extra stuff that'll maybe make it on the DVD when this comes out? Or um, yeah, there uh, not a whole lot of behind the scenes stuff, but uh, there are a lot of deleted scenes. So, and that turned out really great. It just didn't. Yeah. Stuff has to go. <laughs> so yeah, that'll, that'll, those will definitely be on the DVD. Awesome. So like, uh, can you just talk about like maybe what you're what you're each working on next? Um, I'm working on a few projects now, just in the in the writing stage. But I, I think probably the next six months will be really busy, just uh, working on distributing this and, and everything. So this is a um, we have a distributor, but it's a very filmmaker driven type of release. So it's it's going to be pretty busy. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything coming up? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but uh, maybe I'm going to work in Japanese film next time. Oh, okay. Yeah, just you know. Maybe short time. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, can you talk about like, is the release? Uh, is it just New York and LA, or is there, is there like a? Who, are there anyone that you're kind of uh, close to contacting to get further distribution? Or? Um, well, actually, you know, we're gonna open in LA and Orange County on se September 11th, and then the next week we open in San Francisco and San Jose, and then the next week we open in one more theater in the Bay Area, and then also in Utah where it was shot, and then. Um, we're just gonna try and keep going as as far as it'll go, and yeah. you know we will we will make it to New York, and we definitely want to uh, go to other places where the the movies had successful festival or like sneak preview screenings like Portland and Seattle and stuff. So it's um, it's just one of those things where as as long as people keep going, then we can keep opening new theaters. Yeah. Can you both talk a bit about like the, maybe the reception that you've received, like just from these from these festival circuits and other screenings? Like, uh, how is this kind of the the Japanese community or the other like kind of Asian communities kind of res responding to this film? Um, the Asian American community seems to be really enthusiastic about it, and uh, all of our festival screenings, that uh, like for example the San Francisco Asian American Film Festival, were were really really great, were really well received, and I, I think that uh, you know different audiences react to it in different ways. We've had screenings and. Um, in some places where you know the the uh, no nobody in the audience was under I don't know 65 or 70 and and they loved it too but kind of you know for different reasons so <laughs> at the beginning I was really scared <laughs> and uh, because I'm playing a lovable uh, no I'm playing a loser and it's a funny guy so maybe I thought they're gonna you know really upset about me but the first shooting day uh, after they. After we, uh, after they finished watching the film, they got really, you know, laughing and they are really, you know, enjoying. So I got released. I mean, I think like a, a lot of this film has to kind of, it kind of in in some part like he's like like the character is kind of quote a loser, but I mean it kind of like we see like his sister and his and her husband they're really they lead these conventional lives and they're not really happy and uh, this kind of he's like the spontaneous kind of guy that's just having having a good time so like what do you think does that kind of part of the part of the angle you try to play with this or yeah I, I think I'm just really interested in people who can't really hide who they are they're um, they can't hide their eccentricities and I mean his character in the movie just has no guile he can't put on a front at all and I like people like that I like them in real life too but I especially like them in movies when I don't have to deal with them face to face and um, so that was definitely a part of the angle that I was playing with it can you just uh, talk about like your whole experience like filming this and uh, what do you want the fans to uh, to take from this movie when it comes out on the 11th? Mm, oh, sorry, what is that question? Just like what would you like the the fans to uh, to take from this movie when it uh, when it gets released on the September 11th? Oh, um, well, I hope you know they really can enjoy the film. Yeah, I'm playing you know a uh, loser, but he's very lovable, 
I hope. Yeah. And also, uh, he is, he has good heart. Yeah. Would you like to? Would you like the the fans to say about this film? I I hope they love it, and I hope they want to go back and bring their friends for a second time. So, mm. and and I I mean, there's you know, it's a it's a fun comedy, but there's a there's stuff going on below the surface too.